Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. During this holy season of Lent, it gives me great joy to speak to you about the experience of God's unfailing mercy and forgiveness in the sacrament of penance. By going to confession, we have an opportunity to examine our consciences with the help of divine grace, and then to hear the words of Jesus himself through the voice of the priest, I absolve you from your sins, go in peace. Leaving the confessional, we're made whole and we're strengthened by the Holy Spirit so that, as St. Paul might say, we can fight the good fight, we can run the race. That is to say, we can persevere every day in turning away from sin and living the gospel. And having been forgiven ourselves, we'll be more ready to forgive the sins of others in the midst of a very unforgiving world. In this way, we will be imitating Jesus we will truly be his disciples, and so we are set free from the shackles of our own sins and the sins of others. The words of the prayer of St. Francis come to mind, that it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. In an increasingly secular world, the notion of sin is downplayed or often forgotten. In much of the media, life choices and behaviors contrary to truth and love only serve to tempt people away from a virtuous life, all in the name of a false sense of autonomy, of supposedly being true to oneself. Yet as we hear in the first letter of St. John chapter 1, if we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Therefore, it's paramount to humble ourselves before God through the acknowledgement and confession of our sins. Maybe you fear that it's been too long since your last confession. Well, consider the good thief on the cross. He waited until the moment before his death to confess and yet was assured by Jesus of his entry into paradise. Or perhaps you feel that your sins are simply unforgivable. Then I would ask you to consider that Jesus gave the forgiveness of his heavenly Father to the very people who were crucifying him. So don't be hesitant. Don't be afraid. Open your hearts and experience the boundless love and mercy of God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Throughout Lent, our church doors and the doors of our confessionals are open on Mondays, every Monday, for those who want to heed the invitation of Jesus to turn away from sin and believe in the gospel. The Archdiocese of Hartford has put together a website, confessionmondays.com, which lists the times and locations of confessions for every one of our parishes. The website also has a wealth of materials to help you prepare for a thoughtful and prayerful confession. May God bless you, and may your Lenten celebration of the sacrament of penance prepare your hearts for Easter joy and glory.